Hey everybody, Ron, Four Season Barbecue. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, with all this snow we had here in Iowa, I've been working 12 hour days for 10 days. So, I took a couple days off. Gotta go in today, gotta be there by noon. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna make a, a steak burrito today to take to lunch. Or maybe two, this is a pretty big steak. Not just from Walmart. Looks like it's uh, 1.53 pounds. Gonna use some cheddar cheese on there. Making some Spanish style ready rice. And my big uh, tortillas back there. Beans. I'm gonna dice up an onion to throw in there. And I don't have any. I don't have any of my Tostitos cheese or my paste picante sauce because I love those two things together. But I will make do. I got some garlic chili paste and uh, a cheddar cheese right here. So I got the uh, grill fired up outside. I'm actually going to use my uh, charcoal chimney. Because when I use that, it's usually real close to 900 degrees, and it uh, it cooks a mean steak. I'm telling you. Right. Let's start out here. Get the steak. I like to use salt first before anything else because it draws moisture out of the steak and it creates its own binder. You guys know I don't use binders. Steak has enough binder all by itself, especially if you salt first. Get this seasoned up. That's a good looking steak. Got a lot of marbling in it. Alright, when that gets all juicied up, I'll bring it back for the rest of the ingredients. Alright, steak's starting to sweat a little bit. Throw on some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Oops, I missed. <laughs> and of course, some black pepper. A little tap. get this out on the grill bring it right back alright everybody I got the ready rice done got the refried beans done got the onions are cooked and then put in the rice, the rice. let's get out to the grill and do some cooking alright here we go got our steak and this sucker is super hot cook a steak like this do not walk away don't answer your phone don't go answer the door and every time I measure that it's just a hair under 900 degrees so flip it several times I'll probably end up flipping it oh 12 times or so. If you 
leave it on there very long, it's gonna burn. And I left it running real time. Not the snow off of this. That was probably about 30 seconds. Yeah, got a little color on it. Oh yeah, no, don't ever forget. You always gotta click your tongs twice before you start cooking. It's good luck. If you don't do it, something bad's gonna happen. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back here in a little bit. Alright, here we go. Getting plain kissed. You can see that fire coming up right over the edge of the stake. This baby is hot. I probably flipped it six times already. Bring it back here and just a little bit. All right, it's all probably pretty much cooked. Take this baby in the house, get it cut up, and get it ready for burrito time. Meet you guys back in the house. All right, here we are back in the house. Get this baby cut. Catching the bone. Nice rare to medium rare. I gotta take a piece of this fat on it right here. Kind of hard to see with this lighting, but hmm. Man, there ain't nothing out there that beats a good old ribeye. There's a, a channel I watch that. Very good channel. I won't say channel name, but he's a an excellent, excellent steak cook. And uh he always says when you get char on steak, it's not good. I'm going to call BS on that. Big BS. Char is flavor. Let me finish cutting this up and I'll bring you back when I'm getting ready to build a brief. Alright, there's the steak all cut up. Here's my big old tortilla. I'm gonna warm it up on my little bitty griddle. And then we can build us a burrito. Oh yeah, what do you guys think of my Blackstone tray? I got two of them. They asked me what I wanted for Christmas. I said, I don't want that. Blackstone griddle kit that Rob over there at Poor Guy Outdoor Cooking got. And that's what Santa brought me. Had a three spatulas in it, a couple water bottles, two trays, um, cleaning sponges, all kinds of stuff in it. But thanks Rob for giving me the idea. Let's get these uh, burritos built, huh? Nice and pliable. Get our refried beans on there. Get some of our rice on here. Rice with a lot of onions in it. Got a guy at work told me. You don't like onions. I was like, get away from me. Alrighty. Let's, uh... Get our steak on there. Get plenty of steak. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna make two of these. I eat one for lunch and then one for dinner. Get some cheese on here. I gotta go get that chili garlic sauce, paste, whatever it is. Be right back. You know, I was just thinking, man, I really wish I had some paste piccante sauce. I have two refrigerators. Look what I found. And it's the hot. Whew. My other refrigerator is upstairs. That's why I'm out of breath. I'm a wolf bat guy. Get some of this piccante sauce on there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's roll this burrito. Hopefully, and then, <laughs> oh, spell it too bad. There we go. How's that look? And I have enough left over to make another one. So I'm going to throw that one on my griddle. Oh, I need to throw this tortilla on there first. Sure. All right, bring it right back. All right, let's make another one real quick. Yeah, I'm so glad I found that paste piccani sauce. Now, the only thing I'm missing is the Tostitos cheese. And the longer it sits, look how red that steak gets. Yum, yum, yummy. Face on it. And the cheese, where I put it, there it is. There we go. Two steak burritos for today at work. I will laugh. Uh, I'll take a taste test of one of them when I come back. All right, look at that baby. Or look at those babies. Could have did a little better tucking on that one. But. What do you say? This is a cooler one. Let's see if we give this baby a taste. Well, bring out steak with it. <laughs> mm. 
Yo Yummo. This baby tastes. Cheers to you. It's pretty messy inside, so I've been over to lean over the sink. <laughs> That is incredible. Freaking fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad I found that pace. The steak fell out. Alright, that'll end today's video. Hope you guys liked it. I've been gone for a while, but unless we get any more storms, I'll get back to making one or two a week. But if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video for Season Barbecue. I am out. Peace.